Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about decision algorithms for context-free languages. For a given context-free grammar G, there exists an algorithm to determine whether its language is empty or not. Now, how we can determine that the language of a given context-free grammar G is empty or not. It is very simple. We will remove all useless symbols of grammar G. If a start symbol is useless symbol in grammar G, then definitely its language is empty. Note that suppose there is some grammar G and whose language contains only empty string then also we will say that language of that grammar G is not empty because it contains one string that is empty string now for a given context free grammar G there exists an algorithm to decide whether its language is finite or infinite. For this, first we will remove all empty productions from Grammar G. After this, we will remove unit productions and useless symbols from Grammar G. It means Grammar G is without empty productions, unit productions, and useless symbols. Right. Now, to how we will determine whether the language of grammar G is finite or infinite. For this, we will draw a directed graph whose nodes will be the variables of grammar G. And there should be an edge from node A to node B. If there is a production of the form A derives alpha B beta, it means If variable B appears in right hand side of the production of variable A, then in this directed graph, there will be an edge from node A to node B. Right. If this directed graph contains any cycle, then the language of grammar G is infinite. Otherwise, it is finite. It would be more clear after this example. Suppose there is a grammar G whose productions are given here. As derives AB, as derives A, A derives BC, A derives B, B derives C, C, B derives C. Now we will make a directed graph nodes of the graph will be the variables of this grammar G right see this production as derives a B variables a and B appears right hand side of the production of variable s so there should be edge from s to a and there should be another edge that is from node as to p right now see variables b and c appears at the right hand side of the production of variable a so there should be edges in graph from node a to node b and another edge should be from node A to node C. Now see this production B derives CC. C appears at the right hand side of the production of variable B. So in graph there should be an edge from node B to node C. Now see this graph. This graph doesn't contain any cycle. So the language of this grammar G is finite. Now, after this, for a given context-free grammar G, 
and any string w. There exists an algorithm to determine whether string w belongs to the language of grammar g or not. For this, first of all, remove all uh, empty productions, unit productions, and useless symbols from grammar G. To determine whether a particular string W is in language of grammar G, we will first remove all empty productions, unit productions, and useless symbols from grammar G. After that, we will inspect all derivation trees of height of at most length of a string w so after removing all empty production unit productions and useless symbol we will check all derivation trees of height of at most of length of a string w If a string w is found in any derivation tree, then it means a string w belongs to the language of grammar G. But if a string w is not found in any of the derivation tree of height at most length of a string w, then it means a string w does not belong to the language of grammar G. Thank you very much.